Hi, today we are going to see how to download AM standalone jar and AM cloud SDK jar file. So to get this jar file, you must have access to the Adobe partner profile. That is, Adobe has provided a partner, usually provide a website portal for the partners where the partner can be you as an individual or your company as a partner. So if you have directly in, in engaged with Adobe as a partner, you will have access to this particular uh, portal where you can see Adobe partner software distribution, where you can download the jar file directly, or you have to ask your AEM leadership team to get access to this particular website from the company site. Okay. So once you get the access to this particular uh, once you get the access to this particular portal, then you will get an invite email. On click of the invite email, you can register your details with Adobe and then you will be able to access this particular page. So once you reach to this particular page, you see in the general section, most likely you will be able to download Oracle JDK 11 version and even uh, previous version will be the JDK 8 for your AEM requirement. So you can download any of the Oracle uh, JDK 8 or JDK 11 whenever you wanted to start with your AEM project. Then uh, if you want to download the AEM standalone jar, you have to go to the second tab where Adobe Experience Manager is written. And this is this particular tab is specific to AEM standalone, not AEM cloud service. For cloud service, there is one more tab. So if you go to the AEM Experience Manager, there will be some confusion to download the AEM uh, jar file because if you see download AEM 6.5.17, if you click here, this is actually a service package you will be getting. It is actually a service pack. It is not the AEM standalone jar. So what you have to do, you have to set the software type to server utilities. Once you do this, then you will see a lot of details is being listed here. Now you have to click load more. We have to find the quick start jar that is for that is what we need to download. So if you see we have AM, we have found AM 6.4 quick start, then AM 6.4 web app. We don't need web app, we need quick start, but AM 6.4 is not the latest. Then we see 6 quick start AM 6.5.0 because the naming convention here, if you see, they're a little, little different. So you might find issues to find this particular jar, but you need this one is the latest that is quick start AM 6.5.0. You click on it, accept, download. So you will be able to download the AM 6.5.0 jar file. Once you are able to download the jar file, what do you have to do? This is the standard 6.5.0 jar file. On top of it, you have to install your service pack. That was the first top level service pack details. It was shown. So if I go here, so once we able to install this file, then we have to download the 6.5.17, which is the latest service pack. And we have to install on top of our 6.5.0 jar file. So this way you will be able to start your latest AEM standalone jar file and any other details you can find out here based on the left side criteria. I'm not going to any other details as of now. Uh, this is what is important. Then we'll go to the AEM as a cloud service for AEM as a cloud service. It is pretty much very straightforward. You will always see the name AEM SDK and there is a version. And you can download any of this kind of name whatever has been provided here because these are actual jar file sdk file and you can download the latest all the time to start the start your cloud sdk jar so for sd cloud service there is no confusion but for am standalone there is little confusion so i wanted to make this video to get it clarified because till now we are still using some places aim standalone jar files thank you